Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one all to Jupiter Hell. Now, this is not going to be a full series, as you can probably tell by the fact this is going up on a Wednesday. This is merely going to be me taking a quick look at, well, Jupiter Hell. It's an in-dev slash early access game released by Chaos Forge. It's currently on GOG for... I think it was about 20 quid when I got it. Now, this is a genre that I don't really have much experience with. This is a roguelike. And it's a proper roguelike. I'm not talking a sort of Binding of Isaac level of roguelike. Well, that's more roguelite, but nah, details. This is a game that is very difficult. It is punishing if you make even one slip up, it could mean the end of your run. But, I mean, that's sort of, that's sort of what you come to expect from roguelikes. Doesn't mean it's not entertaining, though. Chaos Forge, by the way, are the same people that uh, made, or at least some of the people from Chaos Forge, are the same people who made Doom Roguelike, or Roguelike, sorry, uh, which was a roguelike roguelike game uh, where it's all just sort of like ASCII characters and stuff like that. At least it was before I'm fairly certain didn't uh, Bethesda start going after them because they they say they were appropriating the license or something. Which I mean, technically, technically I suppose you could say they were just copyright infringing, but I'm not a lawyer so I don't really know how that whole thing goes down. So anyway, this is Jupiter Hell, a remake with noticeable references to Doom. It's basically Doom RL, except it's now on Jupiter instead of Mars. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's get on with it, shall we? I've been fiddling around with the sound settings. I think I've got it right. I honestly... It seems to be a bit odd the way that it works with my setup. I'm going with user error on that one, but uh, hey-ho. So, we have three difficulties. We've got easy, recommended for players with no turn-based roguelike experience. Default difficulty is medium, so average enemy count. And hard, which increases the enemy count. And then you've got ultra-violence, but you need to get to Lance Corporal rank to unlock that. I am not Lance Corporal. I am like level zero because I've not been playing this that long. But we're going to go on medium because yeah. We've also got three classes. Each one has their own resource and their own abilities and their own and like gear that they start with. So for example the marine here gets Fury, so when you kill things it regenerates, much like the Barbarian's Fury from Diablo 3. Uh, however, it doesn't degen, so hey ho. It's instead used when you use your active ability, which heals you for a little bit. And convert one a quarter of your pain modifier. That's that's not how that should go. That should be. And convert a quarter of your pain modifier to hell. That's I fairly certain how it should read. But anyway. Then we've got the scout, who is your sneaky, stealthy person. They do know the location of all the standard level exits, but they only have two weapon slots. Although you can get more as you go through the game. They can go invisible and gain a 100% crit chance, as you can see in the active ability. 
and they start with a revolver and 44 ammo, which is really powerful. But, well, when you compare it to the 9mm, anyway. Although the 9mm can be really powerful if you level it up. Uh, if you level up in the right way. If you choose the right perks and all that stuff. But we'll get we'll get into that. Technicians. I believe that technicians are currently considered the most powerful class. It was either scout or technician. I can't remember which one. Marine's currently considered one of the worst, I think, from what I remember. Reading on like uh, not the sec the forums, but uh, something around that. So they utilize power. So you kill any sort of anything with robotic components or mechanical components, and yeah, you can uh, pick it up. You can also dismantle modded items. So when you use a mod, which we'll get into later, assuming I find one that mod is used like you can't get it back unless you're a technician in which case you can dismantle that modded item and you can uh, get back the mod that you used if you use more than one then it just selects it through right which one it drops through random chance rng is very um, prominent in this game i mean it's a roguelike what do you expect the only other roguelike i've played is stone soup and yeah that's very very random uh, they can also use consumable items twice as fast. So if you're in combat and you need to use a med kit, you're less likely to then get immediately one shot. Anyway, I'm going to see. I'm going to die so often. We'll probably get to see all of these classes, but I'm going to start with the scout because I like the scout, and uh, we shall call them Tarek. There you go. It's a character from League of Legends. Gotta find a way out of here. One of the few I actually remember from when I used to play League of Legends. Now, the game. It's a top-down. It's grid-based. I saw that door open. I'm going to go and investigate. Oh dear god. Right, this game has a cover system, unlike other roguelikes. At least the one that I've played. So... You can see that little green bar just above my character. There's no mouse on screen. Mouse is not used at all, so uh, I can't actually point directly to it. But anyway. Yeah, so that means I'm in cover. That means I have a... I'm a bit harder to hit. These drones, meanwhile, are not in cover. Therefore, as you can see, in the upper right-hand side of the screen or right-hand corner of the screen, as that sentence should go. I got a 72% chance to hit, so if I hit F... Boom! He died. And we did about 24 damage. And we'll do 36 damage on a crit. But we only have 20% to do that. Now, because this is obviously based around a roguelike... Oh dear god, I've made a mistake in it. Former sergeant, right. He's got a shotgun. Now what we can do is, if an enemy's, if it, if our chance to hit an enemy is actually quite low, or a lot lower than we'd uh, be willing to take the risk for, we can actually hit the uh, the period button. There we go. We are now hunkered, so we take 25% less damage, and our aim is increased by 50%. So it's now at 61% to hit. And we can do 22 damage. I'm not sure how much health he's got because it's represented by what look like hashes, which means absolutely nothing to me. And he dropped a shotgun. Now, a shotgun is a decent weapon against crowds. Now, there we go. Now, uh... I think we might want to... Uh, there's a lot of people here, so let's go into stealth. Right. There we go. Do stealth, get into cover. Uh, he's a bit far away for a shotgun. Let's shoot him with the revolver. There we go. So I've got two web slots, like I said. I can switch between them at will, although that will take time. Which... During which enemies will act. So if you switch your weapon... 
then the enemies will move. Depending on how fast your weapon switching is. Hello there, former guard. Goodbye, former guard. Let's, uh, more shells, more shells. Aha! More 44 ammo. 44 ammo is fairly scarce at this point. Excellent. There we go. More 44 ammo. Now, obviously, the revolver, being a revolver, you reload it one, uh, one bullet at a time. Whereas with, uh, the 9mm, it reloads the entire clip. Uh, not clip, sorry. Magazine. No, clips are on M1 Garands and the like. That's not... Actually, do you... Did the M1 Garand have a clip? I can't remember. I know it was one of those World War II weapons that did. Anyway. And we've got a uh, pounding metal soundtrack in the background. Which is... Well, for something inspired by Doom, yeah, it's kind of par for the course. Aha! We have a fiend! Which is basically an imp. We got 69 and jars to hit it. Take a shot. And we did hit it, but it was not enough to kill. Now, he is now in cover as represented by that red corner over there. So, he's harder to hit. Let's increase our aim. Take the shot. Alright. We have advanced to level 2, we can select a perk. Now, I normally like going for a pistol build. There is no guarantee that we are going to actually get decent pistols on this run. So, I think maybe Reloader. Uh, what does Reloader lead to? I can't remember. The automatic shotgun reloading on the move. Mm, I'm not going to be keeping a shotgun around that long. I'm not a big fan of the shotgun in this game. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good weapon, it's just a very situational weapon. Uh, could use Juggler. Hmm. Pack Rat, we don't really need at this point. You know what? I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to say, let's get Son of a Gun. Which increases my pistol and SMG damage. Well, I say damage, it's not really damage, it increases its critical chance and its accuracy. So now, my pistol is more accurate. So there we go. There's a fiend up there, 80% chance to hit, 83% chance to hit. I completely balls that. Good. If I'd have missed that, I would have got hit for bleed damage, most likely. Okay. I probably should have... Oh. Careful. He's got a shotgun. It's... There we go. Don't let him fire, because he will... Ow! Why did I do that? I should have uh, shot him rather than pick up the armor, because the arm... Although the armor did save me some damage. It's not exactly... Uh... I was hoping for. Alright. Get a little room clearer. Ooh, there's a vault there. That's locked. So, yes. We're going to need to, uh. We're going to need to find a terminal to unlock that. Um, there's definitely enemies in there. Oh dear. Right, switch weapon. Okay. There's no cover in this area. So let's pull back. Facing doesn't really matter, but I just like looking in the right direction anyway. Oh. There it is. Alright. 115% chance to hit. Yeah, yeah. Imagine if I missed. Oh, there's Veen. There was Veen. Oh, former grunt. He's gone into cover. Lure him to us. There we go. So you get the general gist of the game. It's a very nice looking game as well, actually, I must admit. Keep in mind, this is 
I'm fairly certain these are an indie uh, indie company. I do like indie games. I, I always found playing indie games to be generally a better experience than triple A's, but meh. Right. We have now unlocked the vault, which means that the enemies that were inside the vault are probably now all wandering around here. Like so. Oh god, there's two fiends. Right. Get rid of them. And you can tell when an all the enemies are dead because the level name in the top left hand corner goes blue. If you have uh, quips on, like your character's speaking ability, if you have that on, then uh, you will actually, he'll say something. But I've turned those off because I'm not the biggest fan of them, to be honest. Now, there are two ways I can go on this level. You got Callisto level 3. I might have seen it on the previous level, I can't remember. I don't. Actually, no, I don't think it showed up. I, I don't know. I, might, I probably missed it. Or we can just go straight to a place called Valhalla Terminal, which is an alternate route. We're going to go to Valhalla Terminal. What could possibly go wrong? The alternate paths tend to be a little bit more difficult, I've noticed. But uh, they are also more rewarding. So. Ow! I just got shot. Right. Oh, there's an enemy there. I didn't see it. There we go. Right. Uh, 9mm, 44. I've picked up a load of 9mm. I know I don't have a 9mm weapon at the moment, but... Oh, hello. But, honestly, I'd rather pick it up now than have none later when I have to swap out my weapon because I've run out of ammo. Alright, that's a medical station, so we can either increase our max health by 5, we can extract a med kit, or we can heal ourselves. I'm going to leave it for the time... Hello, Fire Fiend. Goodbye, Fire Fiend. The Fire Fiends are like the Fiends, except they have a ranged attack. And they can set you on fire, which is very um, inconvenient, to say the least. Right. Oh! There we go. Oh, God! Right, he just meleeed me, I think. So, yeah, I'm now bleeding. Oh, that door opened. Uh, take aim. There we go. There is a ability where if you take aim and then you fire, I think it can save it or something. Like you retain your aim bonus. There's a perk for that, but uh, it does. Ow! Unfortunately, that's what happens when you go running way too fast. You need to take your time. There we go. Funnily enough, that's probably... Oh, 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 oh yes. <coughs> that's a double barrel. We have got a double barrel shotgun. It is so beautiful. Uh, right. I mean, I don't really know what I was expecting at that range. Okay. He'll come this way. There we go. Right, now, there are two enemies that don't appear to have activated. There we go. Right. Shotgun, 9mm, 9mm. Now, we are taking a lot of damage, so, let's heal up for 40. Um. And then it's extract a med kit. Each station has like three charges, and yeah, you can just sort of use them how you wish, really. And obviously, every action has its own associated cost with it. Right. It appears that we are done here. 
Now I hear fighting in the uh, distance. I get the sneaking suspicion that... Right, now I can see... yeah. Now I'm... oh that's a... that's a dangerous soldier that is. Oh god, this might be a problem. Right, stealth. Uh, oh god, run, run. Oh no, I'm in major trouble now. Oh god. Um, right, change the target to him. Oh, ow. Yeah. <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> I just got swarmed. Oh uh, dear. Okay, well, he took medium risks. Indeed he did. You know the funniest thing? So obviously I've got a bit of a uh, consistent naming convention here. My best character, or one of my best characters, was called Noob. That was on the easy skill though. Delta was on my uh, was on medium, and yeah, yeah, he did quite well as well. Then Flynn Taggart, that's the uh, standard name. Yeah, I, d I died within like a millisecond on that one. Uh, no matter. All right, okay, back onto uh, no, 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 we're not playing easy. All right, let's play as a marine this time. Marine start with a med kit, and we should call him. Yeah, uh, we'll just go with the, the naming wrong. thing from. Really fucking wrong. Yes, it has gone wrong. Well noticed. Yeah, the character does speak. I... Oh, God. Right. Oh, I'm being flanked. Right, you can use tab. Change the... Uh, change the target. Now, obviously, because I'm not using a... Um, 44, I'm using a 9mm. Yeah, I'm kind of at a bit of a, uh, well, my damage isn't quite as high as it could be. There we go. That's the end of them. Okay. Now, what you can do is you can hold shift to sort of look at the item on the ground and see if it's better than the one that you carry, but... Yeah, a lot of the time it's not going to be as good. So I don't tend to bother. I I know that's really offensive to the meta of this game, if there is a meta. But, honestly, I'm a casual player. I know the hardcore players are probably going to shout at me, but, yeah, I don't care. Right. Next level. I heard... Ooh, that door opened. That's concerning. Hello. Right. Now, as a Marine, I have a slightly different skill loadout. So I can get Skilled, which improves my class traits. I can get Furious, which increases my Fury capacity. Hellrunner, which all classes I believe have. Which increases your dodge and max dodge. And decreases your movement cost. Iron Man for extra hit points, tough as nails, for reducing the pain effect on accuracy. Which I forgot to discuss, but hey ho. Obviously got Reload, a Sustained Fire. That's mainly if you're running an SMG slash automatic rifle build. Uh, son of a gun if you're running a pistol build, like I attempted last time. Steady shot. That's the perk I was on about earlier. So, if I hit, hit the period button, then it will keep that aim bonus. And focus fire. If you shoot the same target repeatedly, you're gaining a uh, cumulative accuracy bonus. For now, however, 
I'm probably going to say increase fury capacity because the adrenaline adrenaline is a, a very expensive heal that said tough as nails is also quite interesting as is reloader and sustain fire let's take let's take yeah let's take tough as nails for now because if I get shot the last thing I need is pain causing a problem why did I pick up an extra shotgun uh, I'll reload it so pain basically if you get shot funnily enough that's gonna hurt so that's reflected in decreased accuracy if you're suffering from a pain related uh, pain related issue it does decrease uh, and we now have an SMG which is an automatic weapon it fires in bursts as you can see it does a lot less damage but it has a chance to hit multiple times oh god right Oh. Sadly, we have not yet found any, um... Yeah, we've not yet found any armor. It's a bit sad. I'd like some armor. Aha! Now, that former sergeant over there is standing near a barrel. Barrels explode. So, with T, we can manually target those toxic barrels, 100% chance to hit. And voila! There's a cloud of toxic gas. He can't see me, I can't see him, but he's going to die slowly. Because, you know, poison. Well, toxic. Oh, hello there, sir. That is an advanced 9mm pistol. That does extra damage has an extra critical oh this mod capacity it's got fresh mag 4 I don't know what that does but I'm certainly gonna check it it's extra crit damage reload times the same magazines the same there we go right so if we hit E we can see what we've got to quit and it also gives us bonus damage on full magazine how much bonus damage? I do not know. But let's find out, shall we? Alright, can I lure... There we go. Right. Blow them up. Uh, no, don't target myself, please, with the, with the pistol. Uh, that's a poor chance to hit. There we go. Problem sorted. I did kind of get a nasty blow from that. I'm tempted to use some adrenaline, or I could just use a med kit. It's something I forgot to mention, you can melee, but I don't see a point in it. Again, probably upsetting all the, uh, the hardcore fans that are like, oh, but meleeing is the strongest thing in the entire game. I, I just shoot things. Meleeing, it's really weak as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it takes a while for me to destroy a barrel. So, yeah. Right. Tough as nails too. What? I'm guessing... No, angry motherfucker does not actually lead on from Tough as nails. I thought it would do with that name, but hey -o. Ah. Once a level, if you have at least 25... HP prevent death. Ah. Interesting. So that's basically a um uh what's it called? Save. Like a uh, thingy save. I can't remember what it's called. Uh I think I'm tempted to go for the pistol again. Because I got a really good pistol. 
tough as nails. All right, we'll get tough as nails because I've put some points into it, so might as well. I think I'm about to die again. Nope, I'm fine. 57 health. Just be careful. Do right. Shoot the barrel. Bye bye. Okay. Gas grenade. Something I'll never use. Ow! Right. Definitely using a med kit here. That's, uh. Yes. That's slightly irritating. Oh! Go away. Damn fiend. Right. Okay. Ooh, another advanced pistol. Which one's... what's this got? It's got one more range and two more mods. Honestly, I'm fine with the one I've got. I mean, mods are nice, but you're not allowed to have two mods of the same type from what I... what I believe, anyway. Ooh, auto shotty. I'll definitely take that. Excellent. Right, that is the entire floor clear. And be careful when you're when you're running around like no, when you're running around like this, be careful not to start meleeing barrels. That'll go badly. Uh, right, there we go. And take that. Right, okay. Now, unfortunately, I am going to have to split this video into uh, into two sections. So, I should be back in a moment.